Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a prophetic dream that a brother in Christ had about the rapture. And I really like this dream and I really like this man's testimony. That's the name of his channel. So when you guys are done watching this video, check out his channel. I'll include a link to his channel down in the description. But before I play you his testimony, I want to encourage you. If you want evidence as to why Christianity is true, look in the comment section of any of my videos. For example, this video titled, I saw God and this is what he said. If you scroll down to the comment section, you'll see the evidence comment that I uploaded. So please read that and examine it. And please spread this. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Also, speaking of the rapture, since this is a video about the rapture, in the description box of all my videos, I have a prophetic message about the end times. So read that also. Now I will play you Chris's vision of the rapture what's up YouTube this is uh, PB again and I uh, wanted to share with you my other dream I had this dream in uh, probably the mid 90s 95 96 but I thought I'd share it with you and uh, check this out I, uh, I dreamed that I walked outside of my house. And uh, as soon as I walked outside, I looked up and got real dizzy because it seemed like the clouds was maybe 20 feet away from the ground. They were right there. And I looked up at the clouds and at first it just, it just made me dizzy. I almost fell back. And I looked at the clouds again. And they started to swirl. A slow swirl. And uh, all of a sudden, a great voice. I want to say like a chant, but it wasn't a chant. Almost like speaking in tongues. It sounded like tongues to me. But... This was before I even knew what tongues were because I wasn't raised in church or anything. But, you know, I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ and, I, and I've been a better person ever since. And Anyway, I walked outside. And I look up and I see the clouds and they started to swirl and a great voice came out of the clouds and started to speak to me and every time it spoke lightning and fire and all lights and <laughs> it just looked like clouds were on fire above me and this voice was speaking to me and although I didn't know what it was saying I remember it was talking to me and then the clouds started spinning real hard and it turned into a whirlwind right above me. And my front yard, whatever front yard I was in, in this dream, there was a tree in my front yard. And as the God was, I don't know if he was yelling at me or what. <laughs> I hope he was, I pray he wasn't, but it's just God's voice is so mighty that you know, it just shook, shook my whole spirit and soul and body and all, but it started spinning and God was talking to me in these tongues and the clouds was on fire. Next thing you know, I started to get sucked up and I was passing the tree as I was getting sucked up. And I grabbed on to the tip of a tree. And I was holding on, looking down, straight at the ground. And I remember a voice said to me, Chris, let go. And I let go. And then I woke up. And I was on house arrest. That was in 1995. That's when it was. Um... I'm 37 years old now, by the way. 
But yeah, that, that was one of the dreams of a whirlwind. Now, the reason why I wanted to say this dream is because I got sucked up into the whirlwind in that dream. As soon as I walked outside and hear, heard God speaking to me. But, in my other dream that I just posted about the four horsemen, I saw in that dream the whirlwind it was on the other side of the city and it was sucking up thousands of lights this going up into the straight up into the whirlwind taking people away and I was in a line I was in a line of people getting ready to cross a checkpoint where everyone's going to receive the mark and uh, if you haven't heard that one check, go ahead and check it out uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say, God been giving me these dreams since I was a kid, and uh, I didn't realize how prophetic these dreams were until I started reading the Bible. I started seeing things like in Acts, where about the whirlwind. And the tongues. <laughs> That's what I read about it after I had that dream. In the when they're up in the upper room, so you know. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that dream with y'all. But I'm gonna post uh, a couple other dreams that I had, and then uh, I'll get back back to y'all with a, a couple more videos. But until then, God bless, Godspeed, and we love you.